Look at him. Look at him. That boy got over half a tank of gas. Look at that face. Chill's garage, man. Look at that boy. Hey man, so y'all know I gotta come help my homeboy out. What we doing today is working on his uh, fuel gauge. So as y'all can see, I don't know exactly how much gas he got in there, but his fuel gauge reads zero. And right here you can see it say EEE -E -E fuel. So that's like, I don't know what the EEE -E -E stand for. I guess it's just some type of error, but uh, we gon' put a new fuel sending unit in this junk. Y'all already know what car this is, man. G-Spot 85. Y'all love this car, man. Every time, I, every time we post it up, the, the video go crazy. So this is the, uh, this is the fuel sending unit. Y'all can see. So, this is the fuel sending unit here. Uh, he has some 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 cars have two um, outlets or inlets or whatever you call it. Uh, his has three, which is the same one that my car had. Um, you know, all G body, so I'm pretty sure these are used for other cars too. Um, but he got the three uh, outlet set up, so that's what I'm putting back on here. Uh, one of these is a supply. I'm pretty sure the biggest one is the supply, and then you got the return, and then the 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 vent. Oh yeah, I don't know which is which, but once we pull it out, we just gonna put it back exactly the way it was. But one is supply, one is return, and one is a vent. So this is what it looked like. Uh, the part number is it's a Spectra Premium. FG08 Alpha. Look at me talking about Alpha. <laughs> but uh, you got this from AutoZone, right? So this came from AutoZone. This is the AutoZone part number. Uh, and then you got the little, the little ring that holds it down, holds it in place. Uh, he already got the car jacked up. He had it jacked up before I got here. Uh. So we gotta drop the tank. Uh, this is a uh, this is the power for the uh, for the um, for the sending unit. This is what comes off of it and hook up. So we tried everything. We hooked it up. Uh, we grounded it and everything, and uh, it just don't work. So we gotta pull the tank and uh, put that um, put the new one in there, and then we'll go from there. It only got, so these tanks, they only have two straps on them. It's a 15 millimeter. It's a 15? Yeah, it's a okay. 15. So you have to, so you got a, a bolt here. He said it's a 15 millimeter. And then a yep. bolt here, yep. 15 millimeter. Make and sure that, that drops your straps. Make sure they hit it with that PB blaster. Oh yeah, definitely. Cause these 80s cars, man, uh, what he did, he sprayed some PB Blaster on there because, you know, rusty bolts or whatever. Uh, he let it sit overnight, so hopefully they'll come on off. But car is jacked up, so we can get under there. And uh, we're going to put a jack under there and some decently soft so that it, you know, so we won't get damage the uh, gas tank. And we're going to drop it on down. <sighs> So you said 15 millimeter, right? It is 15. Yeah. 15 millimeter for these straps right here. I'm glad you had that extension though, because I was like, dang, I wonder if he got a long extension. So we got this set up, you know, little, little Jerry rig in here, but we'll get there. We don't know how much gas is in here, but we both under here. I know it ain't a lot though. If, if the jack don't catch it, guess what? We'll catch it. <laughs> we got it. That's me some power tools. Y'all see them QA1s over there though. They dirty. Hey, if, they if you job. missed that video, man, uh, go back 
and watch the video where we install the QA1s in the rear. It works for all G bodies. Uh, I had somebody hit me up the other day thanking me for that video, man. Hey, I appreciate everybody. Appreciate y'all for watching. You know what I'm saying? Taking the time out to, to see what I be having going on. Got it. Yep, I'm holding it. I'm holding, boss. Push it up some. Push it up some. Oh, sort of come out. Yeah. Uh, did we have to do anything with the neck back there? Mm -hmm. The filler neck. It could come right out. Oh, All right. We got both straps down, as you can see. We got clean little strap there, and then that strap is down. So. We're gonna let this thing down and see what we got. So you got it? I got it. And so I'm gonna, you want me to let, let hey, it down, right? Let it down. Hey, like I, like I be telling y'all, man, I ain't never did this before. So, you know, if y'all see anything wrong, say something or whatever. I know we ain't live right now, but. Is it moving? Mm -hmm. So it's coming on down. Mm -hmm. It ain't too heavy for you, is it? Mm -hmm. It's gas in this bitch, though. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. Lock it in. I think I gotta take these hoses out. She ain't going nowhere, huh? Nah, she ain't going nowhere. All right. I think I gotta take these hoses out. Let me check here. Let's see what done. Oh, yeah, so it's nothing we really had to do here. So we'll just, you see right here? We'll just let it down and that neck will just come out. Cute. I'm gonna have to pause it for a minute. Well, if you can see right here, do I need to pull these holes out? Can I let it straight down? I might have to cut them zip ties up here. Oh, yeah, cutting them. I'll get some so you can cut the zip ties. Uh, yeah, I think it's an AutoZone knife over there somewhere. Matter of fact, it was in that box. Yeah, it's an orange one, right? Yeah. Uh, please don't cut them hoses. <laughs> you heard me? Yeah. <laughs> Cause I ain't, I ain't trying to replace no fuel lines, bruh. All right, that's one. I think that's the only one. I don't think I gotta take these out, you think? Yeah, that, that should be fine. And it's flexible, so we should be able to let it down and then take them off. Well, these flexible, I don't do this. Oh, okay. Yeah. You ready? Yeah, come on. You got the tank, right? Got the tank. All right. All right, she coming down. Come on. All right, yeah. Move them off. Move them off, move them off. Slowly but surely. Okay, Uh-oh. Okay. All right. Look, you ready? One more. All right, hold on. All right, all right, all right. I'm definitely gassing this bitch. <laughs> um, do I need to pull it back some this way? The tank? Yeah, do that. All right. Give you a little more leverage or whatever. Okay. All right, all right. Let down some more. All right. I'm trying to. Hold on. <laughs> I got it. I'm you got it. it? I got it. Just... Hold on. Let me turn it that way. All right. Come on down. A little faster. All right. Pull it back towards you. Hold right. on. Hold on. Hold on. Because, see, the, uh, I, I just don't, I'm just worried about these fuel lines. I don't want them to. It's, it's, well, see, you know what? It might, it's going to be gas in them. You know why? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's definitely going to be gas in them. We, charge, we turn the pump on. Yo, oh, yeah. Fuck. Um, it's all good. So we can go, what we'll do. So I'll hold this. Yeah. And you come from un under there mm -hmm. and go ahead and unhook the uh the cables. Well actually it's just the EFI I see. Oh matter of fact. So I ain't even gotta unhook that EFI. It's easy. So I need some pliers. Yeah. Can you grab me some pliers? I uh, I was about to say I, I can hold it. Alright. You sure? I think. <laughs> All right, you stay there then. Uh, yeah, it. yeah, it's a little heavier than I thought it was. A over here. It's a little more, little more gas in there than I thought. So I just need some pliers. What you over there in that box somewhere? In the Craftman box? Yeah. Yeah, I got some needle noses. All right. 
You might have to uh, get them done, John. Yeah, that's cool. You might have to let that a little bit more. And y'all see what happened when you when you come somewhere to do something and you want to record it and then you forget your uh goddamn stand. Your stand. You might have to let that just a little bit. Unless you can see it, can you see it? I just don't want I don't I'm worried about that EFI cable. I don't want it to stretch. Which one? Oh, okay, that's why y'all want it down. Okay. Yeah, I can see it from here. I can see it. Yeah. I'm trying not to put no, no more weight on here than I have to. Yeah, yeah. so we're going to take these uh these cables off, well, these hoses mm -hmm. off, and then once we get everything off, I'll turn it back on because this is just too much. All right, so sorry y'all couldn't see a struggle through all that, but yeah. I only had one hand. So what we did, uh, he had to unhook his uh, his EFI uh, return line so that we can get it down. And then we also, uh, so these old fuel lines here, instead of just taking them off, we just cut them because they dry rotted. So we're gonna replace those hoses. And uh, we got it down now and out. So it's a pretty good bit of gas in there too. So. That's why I couldn't record all that. Like we were struggling under there. But we got it out now. We're gonna take this old one out and get the new one in and then put this thing back up though. All right, so we actually got her from up under there. Uh, we're gonna clean all this dust and dirt and crap off of here. That way we won't get dirt and stuff in the tank. And then we're gonna remove that, that old one. <laughs> Bruh. That's some dirt there, bro. 85 dirt. Yes, sir. Some of this, some of this probably from 1985. So the new uh the new sender came with a ground, but it didn't come with the power. Uh this is the end of the power cable. It, it looked like it should be fine. Uh but all you do is just pop this off. So you pop this off and then it got the other end that goes to the car. So this end goes to the car and then this end goes to the uh, on top of there. Yeah, so just like on the old one, it just popped right on top of there like that. Um what time is it? It's 11.45. Yeah, this this cable looked like it's okay. It just old as I don't know what. I cleaned it with some brake cleaner. But uh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna see what it do. So yeah, you just need a if you can grab a screwdriver and a hammer and you can just tap it and and take it off. Oh, I already got a flathead, so you just need a hammer. Yeah, I got a metal. Yeah, that's fine. And it should go, you know, normal left left loose. So if you just tap it right there. It should take it off. Hey, it's way more dirt in there too. You need, you need to get that. Get as much. No, you ain't gonna get it all, but get as much as you can. Hey man, like I always tell y'all, man, amateur hour, man. Like, hey. I ain't never did this before. We ain't never did this before, but I'll try anything one time, man. I will try anything. And like I said, we may not be doing it. We may not be doing it all the way, the right way, or the easiest way, but we doing the best we can. You know what I'm saying? Either way it go, we gonna get it. I think that's it. So whatever this is, so this must be the vent. It just blocked off. It's blocked off, which I guess you can just do the same thing. You can just use this old hose, this old hose on the new one, and block it off again like this is, and then with this one and this one, just replace them. So you should be able to just turn it. 
Uh, I, I think. Not yet. <laughs> but how much farther do it go? I'm about to see. Oh, it do keep going. There, go. there it go. Hey, like I said, man, hey, we don't really know what we're doing, but but, but we gonna get there. You know what I'm saying? I, I like to I like to try stuff. Yes, sir. She definitely got gas in her. There she is. Stubborn summer with a bitch. There she is. Yes, yes, gassing now. It's gassing. It, 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 it look clean though. It's pretty clean. It's a little dirt right there. Probably from what we just did. Yeah, it's pretty clean though. Right, follow me to the trash. I like that. I like that. What what we do what we do with old stuff, man? What we do with old stuff? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, sir. So all we gotta do now is put in a new, put in a new one, and then you say you got some fuel line, right? Yeah, I got. I can get some more though. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna cover this up. This don't go in there, though, do it. No, this the ground. No, no, yeah, that's the ground. It's right there. So we got the old one out. The new one is almost back in. Had to put this uh, gasket on there, so the gasket goes there, and then. This goes on top. Actually, do that go under? No, it go on top. This the like it goes so through it, here. We gotta put it through here. Yeah. So, you can put it on here and it'll go. Just like I did the gasket. But it yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. And then yeah, that gasket is thick. Mm -hmm. So you gotta like press it down. Oh, get the hammer. Yeah, hammer and uh, yeah, just be a little, a little ginger with it. Hold up, hold up. This part right here ain't going under. Got to make sure it go under there. We gonna get there, dog. We gonna get there. We get anxious. We gonna get there. Yeah. So let me get, if you can just Look yeah, that there. gasket is definitely thick, bro. Yeah, you good. You should be good. Let me. All right. Do your thing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Lock it down. That's it. That's it, bro. You got that power cord? So that's in there. Get some more of this crap off of here. No, it don't. Hey man, you ready you ready to uh to have all six of your gauges working dog? Un un unlike unlike everybody else that I be seeing with them Dakotas, man, they got six six gauges and only two or three of them work. What's the point of spending all that money if all your gauges ain't gonna work? You know That's just me though. You know what, uh, uh, this That's one, just me. Am I wrong? You can make another one of these if this don't work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can make that. Yeah, that's if you got, my, that's what I did for my starter. For yeah, if you so. got, if you got wire, yeah, if yeah, this, if this doesn't work, we can just down. we can just uh tap into it. I'm pretty sure it works though. He just look a little beat up, but so uh, take that down, though. what we'll do before we actually mount it all the way up, yeah, we'll yeah. test it out. We'll just sit it up on the jack and test yeah. it out because it it been too many times where I didn't actually put everything all the way back and then waited to test some out. Then I got to take it all out and do it over again. Now y'all know on light rework, man. That boy got a new tool set, ain't it? I already lost some pieces. <laughs> hey, that's a, hey, uh, that's that's a nice one for the trunk. Yeah, just for the ride. Yes, sir. He, hey, he he opened the trunk, so I gotta show it now. I gotta show it now. It's still in progress. This thing look good, man. Better than what it was. Oh yeah, better than what it was, man. Got one fifteen back here, kicker. You know what kind of kicker it is? Uh, I think it's kicker comp. Kicker comp fifteen in the box. Custom made box for the trunk, color matched it. 
with some little household paint for the, it, you know. Uh, oh yeah, what you use on the trunk, man? On the on the floor. He say use. He say use. Some people don't normally think about using, and it came out great. Where is it? You got you got a bottle? Yeah, I threw it away. Oh, you threw it away. So he used flex seal. Flex seal. That's what it is. Flex seal on his trunk. So just give y'all an idea of what it looked like. He said he need to get another bottle, another can, and do like another coat or whatever. And but uh, by the apps too. But y'all y'all see it, man. I got to spray the. It apps. looked good. Show a little H back there. <laughs> yeah, he got the H back here now. What brand? Uh, PRV. PRV-8. It sound pretty good, too. And Oh, yeah, and he got this little amp. He got this amp that uh that I was telling y'all about, the, the toy amps, the little small one. That's the same one I got. He said do the thing, so we're going we gonna to see what she what she do in the, uh, in the mistress. What you got going on now? Look, I, I done got, I done got off, the, off the video we supposed to be doing. Took, and uh, paying attention to other stuff, man. You opened that trunk, and I was like, oh. Yeah, I had to show you first time. I was took the ground off so we could put the new ground on. Oh, okay. Yeah, so okay. the ground was here, right? Was yeah. it here? Yeah, I got it grounded, yeah. Yeah, you need to uh, scuff that up some. Yeah. Scuff that up some for the uh, other for the ground so we get a good, clean connection. And then we, and you're going to replace the hoses, right? Yeah. Uh, matter of fact, I might just watch the store and get them. Sure, you so, got some. You said you had some holes. I don't know if I got enough. It's a reach. You don't need that much. Let me see what I got. So I, I think that's a 3 8 yeah, and great. a 5 16. Yeah. So, yeah, and I'm pretty sure we got, if if you still got that 5 16 from when we did that return line the wrong way. We need fuel line because it got to be pressure, pressurized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is. You probably got some more from EFI. And I had fuel line at the house too. I could have broke, but I didn't. I wasn't thinking. We got a little piece of here in there. This is that looked like fuel line, fuel injection line, actually, because it got that green on there. You see that green uh, stamp? Mm -hmm. That's normally, normally that's a uh, fuel injection hose. Yep, this fuel line right here. Yes, sir. So see what, see what that's a. Uh, so yeah, this looked like three eighths. It's three eight. Yeah, right in there, dog. So, let's go. so, so this is. Oh well, this might be. This definitely. Just that let me. Be, that should be long enough. Yeah, I just gotta put a, a clamp on now. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, I got it. So put that clamp on there. Fuel line back. That's just that. I think that's something I had gave you for uh, just to tidy up cables and stuff under the hood. If I remember correctly, so I'm gonna have to do this the other way because I don't have much room there. So I had to take the clamp and put it in from the other side. So now I can one-handed bandit. You look better, dog. <laughs> There we go. It's on there now. So the only thing we need now is, reach. is a line for this. Yeah, you're gonna have to cut that though. I'll tell you what. Oh, oh, I know it just come out. At this point, I would just cut it. <laughs> it cause it's cause it's longer than the other holes anyway. Look at that. Look at that yeah, I'll just cut that joint. Yeah, so uh, we got everything mocked up. We got all the cables and hoses hooked up. We got our ground going there, our power going there. So we're going to go on and check this thing, see if the fuel is going to work. And I'm going I'm I'm to let, let him turn the key. I, I want to see the smile on his face. You ready? Yep. Boy, look at him. Look at that. That what? boy got over half a tank of gas. 
Look at that face. Chill's garage, man. <laughs> Look at that boy. So every gauge on here work now. All six gauges work. And the clock work. 108. As y'all can see here before, it said like E, 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 fucking fuel good. or whatever. And the fuel was always on E. Fucking but good. we hooked it up. We got a new fuel sender in there. I think we should have like the calibrated. I don't think I got over half a tank. We got it mocked up. But yeah, you, you, you can I'm calibrate fill it. I'm going to fill it up and reset it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's how you would do it. You yeah. would fill it up and do that. So we got everything mocked up. Like I said, put never that, put anything that. all the way together before you test it out. Don't ever do that. Um, so I got an appointment. I got to go to an appointment. Then I'm going to come back you and help him help him uh, put everything back in here. And uh, hey, man, that's it, boy. Look at that. <laughs> that boy happy. <laughs> that, that, that fuel gauge work now. You know what I'm saying? Just a little work, man. All you got to do is put in a little time. You know what I'm saying? Use your head. And you can, and you can do it. No. You wanna say fuel? Oh, uh-huh. Watch out. She probably can't see from over there. All right, bye. You had half a tank. Yeah. Let me mm -hmm. find out. I'm gonna gas in this business. And your ass ain't yes. on E. Yes, sir. What? Yep. Oh, All Jesus. Work. That ass ain't gonna never come home now. We're gonna take the gas. All right, so we got everything tested out. And we got everything buttoned up now. Uh, while I was at my appointment, he went on ahead and put, uh, went on ahead and clamped all the hoses back down. And uh, he put some uh, electrical tape on this power cable here because it was a little, it was a little iffy as to say the least. So he just put some extra protection on it. And uh, we about to go ahead and jack this thing back up and get her in here and you know go well we're gonna we're gonna go put some gas you gonna fill it up I'm gonna put some gas in the seat. yeah just to see if the make sure the um the hand move you know we want it right so we're gonna go ahead and get this thing back up here you ready dog yeah. so damn i don't know why we're gonna take that uh, EFR off you said take it off yeah we're gonna have to take it off why because uh Cause we gotta let that gas tank down. Let it down for what? To get that, that uh, passenger side strap under. Ah, uh, I thought you had pulled it under there. Uh, Dang. Yeah. I was trying. I was. I, I had kept pushing it till you. I guess you ain't see it. But in, in reality, that down, that strap is uh, balancing that shit off. Won't be on top like that. It's balancing. Oh. Oh no, that's good. You was right about that, boy. <laughs> I'm going to inject this thing back on up. We got it lined up where we needed it. Actually. All right. All right, the jack about to come off of it, bro. I'm going to have to slide it. The phone will have to go bye-bye. With two hands, right? Yeah, here. yeah, this uh this jack about to come off and we're gonna have to slide it up under there some more. Hold on one second, let me get my ratchet and get the uh bolt. Right. What you trying to do? I had to get this one to get this ratchet and the bolt in my hand, so I oh, okay. Um... Yes, sir. All right, start it. Yeah. Put this strap up. Grab this real quick first. What? I don't want it to smack me in the face. I got you. Uh, now I can hold it. Uh, where you at? Where you at? I can't see. There you go. Yeah. Yes, sir. Gas tank is back up. <laughs> we'll let him do all the work. No problem. Like I said, it's only it's only two bolts, y'all. Just two bolts for these straps. Fifteen millimeter size. Yeah, that's 
Let's go. All you gotta do is take them off, drop the tank. This tank was pretty full, so like it's like half full, so it was a little it was a little difficult for us. But um, the reason why, because every time he drive his car, he got to put gas in there because he didn't know how much gas he had. So instead of being on the side of the road, literally, every you know time what I'm saying? Dude, I about $20 every time he cranked the car up, he put, he put gas in there. But guess what? He ain't got to do that no more. He going to know how much gas he got. It's just little stuff, man. Little stuff, man. Oh yeah, you got your zip ties. Yep. Tie them lines back up. I can go ahead and let this jack down. Yes, sir. She holding her own. You know what I'm saying? Look, little lunch break. <laughs> Literally a lunch break. That's all it took us, bro. Yeah. And this is inexperience. Like we never, neither one of us ever same, did this before. Exactly. Like I said, like my boy said, man, don't take all day to do nothing. We got that thing done, man. Uh, oh yeah, and for for everybody that's uh watching this that had questions about the uh the Holly EFI. Uh, he also has the Holly Sniper EFI. Um, you don't have to have an inline pump. I mean, an in-tank pump to run the Holly uh, Sniper. As y'all can see, this car runs just fine or, or whatever with the uh, inline pump that's back there. You know, it might look a little tacky because we did this in the garage ourselves with no experience or whatever, but hey, it worked. Who get up under my car? <laughs> hey, it worked, man. So, uh, you know, just in case you thinking about going with the Holly EFI, just know that you don't have to worry about an in-tank uh, pump. You don't need that. Holly EFI. That sniper, man. Ain't no pat-pat over here. And this thing crank up in 20-degree weather after it been sitting for two weeks. Ain't got to pat no gas or nothing. Why would you do that? Ain't got to do none of that. Why would you take the gift? <laughs> yeah, man. Little days work, man. Got that big boy radiator. Four core. Dual fans. These are uh, small fans. I forgot to see the fans, man. I think it's like $1,300 a piece, I believe. So you say your fan, you say you run one. One fan turn on at like 170, right? Yeah. Yep. So he got his fan set where it's so you can set all this through the sniper too. So his fans turn on the first fan turn on at 170, uh -huh. and then the second fan turn on at 185. If it even get that hot, it don't. Cause uh, you get to what uh, what about yeah you you run at like what 178 or something? What? Nah. Your I mean, average. Like summertime, I'm, I can't touch, but right now. About 173. Yeah, so he's running at about 170. We'll just say about 170 he's running at. Um, and, like, if you've been watching us for a while, man, you know that uh, a while back he had issues with the car running, you know, overheating or whatever at 200 plus or whatever. Tell and what, what did it was this was this water pump, man. Nah, put, put a high-volume water pump on there. And uh, what, 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 what you about to say? I said, tell them why. My damn fans are coming on. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. So, <laughs> <laughs> yo, so he had an issue one time. He didn't realize his fans was turning off every time he come to a stop. Every time he hit the brakes. Every time he hit the brakes, his fans turn off. So, you know how you be at the light and your junk just steady getting hot? His was definitely getting hot because his fans cut off every time he pressed his brake. And I'm going to tell you why. I can't really show you, and I wish I would have got this on video. But whoever, uh, before he started getting, you know, technical or whatever with his car, he was taking it to shops and stuff like that, right? So whoever hooked up his, um, his fans, they ran it to his cruise control switch, which is down there under, you know, by the brake switch. 
They ran it to his cruise control switch. So you know, every time you hit the brake, when you got cruise control on, it turns your cruise control off because you're hitting the brake. So that's what was happening. When he hit his brakes, the fans turn off because they wire his fans through his cruise control switch. We had to figure that out, but we did it right here in his garage. You know what I'm saying? It was it was weird. It was well, like we just didn't know what was going on. Actually, figured out your house. Remember that night we was riding when I came out there. No, no, no. Cause I mean, we figured it out for sure. Like house. what it was was the cruise control. We figured that out here in your garage. I thought. Yeah, yeah, that. But we figured yeah. out. I came over there. And I hit the brakes and the fans cut off. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, every time he would hit his brakes, his fans would turn off because somebody somebody ran his fans to his uh cruise control, which I mean I don't I don't really think nothing is wrong with that, but what we had to do was because it's getting power, you know, with the ignition, and he's not gonna use his cruise control. But what we had to do was uh was bypass the switch. So Man, I wish I had that on video when we did that, man. But anyway, it's just just something something that happens, man. And like like I said, even if you don't know about a car, if you don't know about cars, you're not technically inclined, mechanic mechanically inclined or whatever. If you take your car to a shop, get them to show you everything they did and how they did it or whatever. Like get them to show you something so that you will know what's going on, have some type of knowledge of what's going on if something were to happen so that's why i like to know like like what did you do how did you do it whatever same thing my started with it. exactly like you you gotta you you gotta know something about these cars man nothing against the people that's not that don't know how to do nothing but like if you paying somebody you gotta make sure they're doing it right and you gotta make sure that Boy, you know you can yeah or if you're on the side of the road you <laughs> like you never know and about being on the side of the road, man, like, hey, like I tell y'all, I'm transparent. Like, I'm going to show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. A lot of these YouTubers are, you know, video creators, social media, whatever. They ain't going to show you that they have problems with their car all the time and stuff like that. But I'm going to show you. Like, I'm, I I don't care. Like, yeah, we all going to, you're going to spend a whole bunch of money. And, yeah, you still going to be on the side of the road at times. Like, stuff happens. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be transparent with everything. You see straight through me, dog. Just like these windows. He said he's going to tint the windows, though, but I don't approve of that. I do not approve of that message, man. Like, whew. But this interior is so nasty. This interior is nasty. Like, it's, it's something about that OG, man. You can't beat it. You can't pull, beat it. Uh, pull it uh, stand out over your side. Uh, it's up? Yeah. I'll get the other one. All right, let her down. Don't let her down too fast, though. <laughs> She coming down. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I ain't close this door all the way either. But yeah, man, I was I was sitting right here when I opened the door, man. Look at that, bro. You can't beat that. You can't beat OG. You, can, <laughs> you can't beat it, man. Uh-oh. There we go. I don't care how much money you spend on the chair. You can't you ain't fucking OG. I don't give a fuck. Yes, sir. Hey, man. What? I see this Eagles flag in the uh, in this in the video. What the Eagles gonna do Sunday, man? Come on, man. We already won. You ain't see the score? <laughs> Check the score. We already up. <laughs> what them Eagles gonna do Sunday, man? <laughs> All right, hey, we're going to go ahead and close this video out, man. Uh, this was all about getting the fuel pump. Uh, not the fuel pump, but the fuel uh, sending unit in. We have accomplished our task. We got fuel. Like I said, there's no error. 
There's no error there anymore. It was like a EEE -E -E or whatever, and we had a half a tank. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go and put some gas in, make sure that it's actually registering on the uh, on the dash, and then we're gonna go from there. And you know, ain't no pat pat. <laughs> Definitely moved. Yeah, it's up between a it's up between a half a uh, half a tank and three quarters. Yeah, so it went up between half a tank, three quarters. So yeah, it's definitely working. Yeah. Just gotta be Definitely calibrated, working. that's all. Yeah. But yeah, I think if I remember correctly, the um the manual say to fill it. you know to fill it up. But I mean you can do that yeah, shit. You can I'll do that later. It and, uh, set it tonight. Yeah, now. but but at least you know Around you know you got gas, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So the car it barely moved without normally it would go. Yeah. Now, now you gotta Yeah, that's no man. Gotta, that stall make a difference. We can stop by See, we at 160. Yeah, see, fans cut off. 